Hi guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda and today is the 31st of July 2022 so it means today is Tarot Day. Now I should say it's still night time because the sun is not up yet. Um, just letting you know I've got a very busy day today. I've got to take my daughter into Brisbane City today. There's an open day at the university who wants her. Ooh, she's only in year 10. So big day for her today. I um, am so excited for her today. And this is great energy of what is occurring. This is what I'm now seeing, guys. We've gone through a couple of icky, ick, ick, ick weeks. And today it's all changing for the better. So this is where I'm going to get straight into it, guys. This is where the cards are going gorgeous for us. All right, the first card I've got is our little lovey-dovey card. And it says, love tells you how it feels about you. So this is what we're now passing into, guys. This is where we now stop thinking, stop concentrating, stop putting our energy into other people who are not going to help themselves at this point. Okay? We have to start relying, trusting, and concentrating thinking about ourselves now this is where we put all our energy into what I am doing to get through the next two years okay I love talking about Noah you know whether you believe in Noah from the Bible or not he was there building this ark everyone around him was swearing at him abusing him saying blah blah stupid stupid idiot but he said, come with me, join me, come, come. And that's what a lot of us are doing, right? But now it's no longer that we can say the flood is coming. We are now saying the flood is here. So there is that pivotal point where Noah has to turn his back on all those people that he loves, even though he loves them. Okay, it's not going to change how we feel about people. But we have to turn our back and start walking up that plank to get onto the ark that's where we are metaphorically at now right I'm sure a lot of you will agree it's because the next card I got from the beautiful Louise Benton range okay there's a link if you want to go buy your cards it's the illumination card now I've had this one before good girl Louise I love the work that you do I love how it's the evolving okay all right so let's quickly read this one okay our very existence and all that surrounds us is miraculous. There is wonderment and magic in all things. So please, guys, use this time as a, as a moment to appreciate how good we all are, okay? And this world is so much more than it appears to be. There are so many opportunities out there to be happy. We don't have to pay money to get happy. It could be just turning on your favorite song in your head. Straight away, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Bon Jovi, U2, Led Zeppelin, The Doors, T-Rex, and talking head songs in my head. See how fast that just came to me? As soon as I say, oh, I want happy, da I want happy thoughts, I've got five bands already singing about 20 songs each in my head. So I'm going to have a great day today, okay? Okay, let's keep reading. Okay, at our essence is a spirit that connects us to the um, vastness of all that is, the eternal witness to all that arises and all that passes away. Okay, so we are eternal witnesses here. Love and reverence for our own existence and the existence of all life will waken us to the blessings of the exist experience as embodied humans and the opportunity it offers us to hone the skills to manifest of and creation so we can manifest what we want at this time yay you know we've just had this huge meteorite over australia now we're having another meteorite show um i think it's tonight or tomorrow night in about another 12 hours from me recording this so it's going to be an awesome energy okay of all this stuff coming in okay let me just keep reading the more authentically and trust truthfully we choose to live, the more aligned we will be. Now, this is true. True colors have been coming out for two years, okay? 
We're seeing people's true characteristics. We're seeing who's the selfish ones. We're seeing who's generous. We're seeing who's kind and loving. And then we're seeing the conceited ones that um, are only thinking about themselves. Okay? So the true colors are coming out. So be aware for that. Okay? Okay? Okay. This alignment will then enable us to see through the veils of deception that have been um, preventing us from expressing our divine potential. Now, isn't that a great line? Okay, look at all the lies telling us that we can't be who we have to be. Oh my God, I, I could do a show just about that, right? Okay, by reclaiming our sovereignty, we can um, embrace the truth of who we are and begin creating a future based on our dreams and desires for a better world. This is what is coming now, guys. Okay, all these ones in who thought that they were in power, they're realizing now they're not in power they are struggling because certain people didn't take a certain medical procedure and now we're standing up showing how strong we are and they are quivering in fear they're the ones now getting the fear okay instead of making us fearful they're the ones now getting fearful they don't know how to control us anymore okay last little line here uh, oh, okay, it's all good. So that's the illumination card. I'll just put it there if you just want to pause. Okay, so it's all about coming into our own this week, guys. Stand up in your own energy, and you've just got to say to the universe, you know what? I am the best version of me. No one else can tell me, no one else has the consent or the right or the permission to tell me who and what I am. I am a loving, kind, generous, appreciative person and there is no one on this planet who's going to take that away from me. See how powerful that makes me feel straight away? Oh my God, now I'm like two feet taller than myself. Look, I'm growing as I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, my God, now I can go out today and I can be whoever I want. I can do whatever I want and I can be the best version of myself and go out there and ripple this out to everybody else because we've still got this one this came out it is the three of wands okay let me read the three of wands for you and i'll just wipe my eyes okay it's only 5 30 a.m here guys i've already had a shower i've washed my hair oh my god i put on my little little bit of lipstick okay so we've got the three of wands oh it's still oily okay we see a positive pattern of progression emerging here Taking the initial energy from the ace, then manifesting the idea and now a completion of those first steps. Your initial goals have been realized. And while these have been successful, there is still more work ahead. The three of wand indicates progress, initial success, and yet even more planning to keep everything forward moving and heading in the right direction. So this tells us, guys, now when I pull out my cards now, I don't say, give me a card that the whole world needs for the next week now. I don't say that anymore. I am now only saying, I want a card, I want the universe to throw me a card that represents those on the white, loving side of the universal energies. So let's do it right now because I've got to get my ruin stone. Let's get a ruin. So again, I ask the universe, please give me a ruin that is so important for the next week for those who are on the right loving side of the universal energies those who are doing good work give me one oh he wants me to go down into the corner today oh it's this one oh this is a weird one i don't think i've ever had this one before so let me just find him first oh okay now i understand it okay so this little stone has got like four lines making like a circle and is here guys it's this one here i don't yep there you go you can see him now it's that one there it's the fertility stone now what happens with fertility it means moving forward it means setting standards it means morals rights um looking after others being caring loving supportive nurturing okay it's being unconditional love to others when we look at a baby right we do anything that we can to make that baby survive right 
So that's what we're all going through now. Oh, I love it when the cards will come together. Because remember here, love tells you how it feels about you. So this is where we look at ourselves and say, who do I want to be now? And I've got to shine it. I've got to be that powerhouse out there pushing this energy into everybody else. Okay, so it's called the Ingwa's Ruin. Okay, the Ruin of New Beginnings. Hallelujah. Okay, associated with the Norse God of Fertility. The symbol of ending an old phase of life and entering into a new one. Well, that's what all the cards are saying. Look, even this one. That's the Illumin. Whoops, not that one. Where should go? Louise Benton's card. It's the card of um, illumination. Okay? We're lighting the way now, guys. We're, we're lighting the way. Okay? Okay, let's go there. We've got three dot points. A positive ruin of personal growth and development. Yay! Now, it's not saying we're there yet, because that's what this guy says. We're not there yet. Oh, this one I should say, the three of the three of wands. We're not there yet, but we are making a lot of progress. Okay. Also a positive omen for the gestation of new ideas, ventures, and relationships. So if you want to start a new hobby, go out there this week and start your new hobby interest or if you want to start a new job start investigating what courses you need for that um, job what skills have you got that you can bring forward to that job okay if you want to start making new friends make a list of all what their qualities are going to be i'm looking for people that possess this this i don't want people that are like that so you put that on the pro side and the con the pro and con sides okay all right last one is depending on circumstances may also be a positive indicator of male sexuality and fertility well guys that just means to me the yin and yang of the universe is starting to realign itself this is great news for the coming week guys oh my god i'm so excited that this is all now turning into our favor okay they're, they're struggling let's just go there those in charge are struggling this is where we do the big raspberry <laughs> straight at them, but we don't ever send negativity back to them, okay? We never do that. What we do is we send them white love from the universe. Carl Schwab, Gil Bates, all the rest of them, I love you. I love you. I really love you. Because the more we tell these people that we love them, that caring, nurturing energy, if they've got any intentions to hurt or maim people in their head, they start getting that conflict of interest going on. They start realizing, oh my God, look what I've done. And hopefully they will start to stop what they're doing love you all guys be the beacon of light this week go out there you know i'm going into the brisbane city today masses of people will be there at this open day at the university um there's going to be hundreds of people there you know i will go there tashi won a potential student award she's only in year 10 they want her okay um so i've got to go in there today and show her the university campus so imagine the energy that is going to be in there today. All these people coming in with all this potential of who they can be. They're all feeling proud of themselves that they're getting these opportunities for their future. They're all in there as one today, feeling this energy of creating success for themselves. Isn't it funny I've got that today when these cards have come out? I hope that you all have a beautiful day. Go outside and just look to the sky. I don't care if it's snowing, raining, bloody tornadoes are in the sky. Just go and admire the nature of the universe today. Create that love, guys, because we're winning this war. Love you all. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.